now? Well, we have 73% in the Baylor. I don't think I can do much about that, really. It is what it is. Maybe we should have gone with the smaller bales. We probably would have got it. Um, I mean, I, I could try and pick up some grass, but... Tell you what, let's do let's try something here. I'm gonna actually save first. Do a little save scumming here. In case this doesn't work. Why don't we see if we can kind of nip the, some of the ends here without cutting too far into the fields. I hope, too, that it'll stay hay. If it doesn't, it's not that big a deal. We'll just won't make quite as much money off of it, but... Because the majority of the material is hay as opposed to grass, right? But I'm not sure what it'll do. Can we nip a little bit of this? No, we're too far out. Alright, what about... Oops. Grabbing some of this here. That got us up to 78. I wonder if I backed up with the tractor on the field, if I could just nab the ends of these rows here. Boy, that thing turns quickly. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, and a hundred. We got it. Nice. And it's still hay too. Fantastic. All right. That worked out. It's a cute little baler, man. It's really quiet, too, compared to the, the bigger ones. Okay. We'll keep you on your owner's property. Well, I'm assuming that's the owner of that field. We'll just pretend that it is. Okay, so we just have three of these little bales to pick up. Um, or, well, yeah, three. Two on the field and the one we just created. I wonder if this little tractor can handle this trailer okay. We're going to find out. I'm sure it's probably a little underrated horsepower-wise, but we're not going to fill it all the way up either, so maybe it'll be fine. Alright, any chance that the silage bales from these north fields are going to the same place that this hay contract is going to? Because if so, we can just load the whole trailer up. So, let's see. 13 is going to the biogas. No, we're not. Yeah, these are all going to biogas. This this one's that we're doing right now is going to Johnson's. Biogas, 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 biogas. Okay, so we're just going to have to run this over to Johnson's uh, by itself. Well, we can do that. And then that'll actually wrap up this contract. But I'm not going to turn it in again because we might still want to use this little Valtra for something else. It's a cute tractor. Alright, I should be able to send a worker to deliver this. So, let's go here. 
create job. I want you to, oh, nope, I guess not. All right, we'll just have to send them over there and we'll do, have to do the delivering. All right, so you just stage right there and I will meet you over there later. Have fun, don't get in a wreck. Where are we at? You are in position. Let's do this though. Bring you on to the field. Park you right there. This trailer's gonna um, drift on us too, so that's gonna be fun. Okay, let's finish the bailing first, then we'll worry about the picking up. Uh, actually, I want to check on everybody else first real quick. Okay, so you're there. You're there. You're there. You're... Oh, you're done. Good. Okay. You left a little bit. Yeah, let's clean up this guy's mass here and then we'll send him on to the next cultivating field I know I don't have to do this but I would in, in real life you know got to do a good job man it's important okay I think the rest looks good we can cash this one in uh, nope didn't mean to do that Let's go here. Cultivating field 10. That'll give us 8,500 bucks. Beautiful. Okay. Next cultivating is going to be on field 32. Okay. So let's get you going to field 32, which is going to be right here. Ooh, that's going to be a long one. Okay. Um, Why don't you... Stage yourself right here. All right, we are done with the crone, except for we do have a little bit of cleanup to do here, it looks like, as usual. Let's get that taken care of, and then we can take the crone back to the farm, and we're done with it. We've already got all our mowing done. spots up here very good all right where are we at we need to get back to the straw baling and let's get this quest turned in or contract I know I always say quest quest contract tomato tomato Okay, contract on field is finished and we made an additional $680. See, we wouldn't have gotten that if we hadn't tried to get that extra bale out of the, the baler. So it was well worth it. All right, I wanna send ye this trailer back up to the north fields. So create job, go to, and you go back up here and just stage right there. Okay, you're good. We'll come back to you. We, uh, oh, you're staged, okay. All right, so we've um, gone all the way around the field, and hopefully, it won't um, the AI won't mess up and go into the other farmers' fields here. And it should have enough of a headland to get turned around and everything. So go to it, man! Don't screw up. 
Okay, you... I'm just gonna actually leave you there for now. You're fine where you are. We need to get that started again. You are fine where you are right now. You're fine where you are. Okay, so back to the straw bailing. Alright guys, we finally finished the straw. Uh, we got a few more bales than I thought we were going to, which is a very good thing. Uh, so let's poop out these two bales here. There you go. Um, and I think that's all we're going to need our square baler for, but let's just leave this here for the moment. Just in case I need it for something unforeseen at the moment. And now we're going to have to manually pick all these guys up. Fun, fun. All right, so... Oh, I didn't even know that folded up like that. Get some lights on here. Okay, so... Look. Now we just have to see how many of these we can handle at once before we're too front heavy because I don't have the rear, rear weight uh, configured at this point. Of course, it is straw, so straw is lighter than hay. Uh, at least it is in the real world. Okay, yeah, no problem picking that one up. See how we deal with two. We'll clamp those. And yeah, we still seem to be reasonably stable. Let's try three. Okay. I think that's probably about as many as we want to do at a time without a weight on the back. We might be able to do a fourth one, but I'm going to have problems if we, uh, if we do that, so... All right, guys, we got the bales loaded up. Not the prettiest load, but not the worst one I've ever done either. <laughs> Can we get one more strap on there? Yeah, sort of. So it should make it back to the ranch okay. All right, let's get the McCormick hooked back up. And we are now finished with this field. And the next step, of course, is to get bailing on the on all the silage now or the hay well no grass which will be turned into silage I just kind of generally whoops no I did not mean to do that I hope that doesn't screw anything up it shouldn't I meant, <laughs> I meant to hit escape oh no 
Uh, all right, well, that puts us into July 2nd. Um, I don't think that screwed anything up. Okay, yeah, I, I guess we're okay. Hey, did anything new come up in the sales? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want this tractor, you guys. I've been waiting for this thing to come on sale. Um, this is this must be um the medium version. And it does come with a front loader attacher too. But it's 235 horse. Uh, what are the wheel options? Twin wheels? That's cool. Skinnies, wide tires, standard tires. How many hours is on this? 27 months. Um... If, okay, how much is our, how much could we get from the McCormick? 28,000. Okay, so we could, we could sell the McCormick because it only has 210 horsepower to kind of help offset the cost a little bit. I'm going to have to think about that. I really love the, the fast track, the JCB fast track tractors. But, I mean, that I think this, this is the tractor here, isn't it? 4220. Yep, it's ex exact same tractor. Well, same model. It's a nice machine, man. But, uh, I mean, it would be nice to have three tractors, but I don't think we're at the point yet where we can afford to have three tractors. And it's not that having three tractors is expensive. It's just that I would probably want to sell the McCormick to off help offset the cost of that. And to be completely honest, we don't necessarily need to do that. Because it's not a major horsepower upgrade. It's a little, kind of a bit of a side grade, really, except for just it's a little bit nicer tractor. Hmm. I don't know. Like I said, I'll have to think about that. I'm kind of thinking we it's not a smart move. But we'll see. We'll see. I'd much rather spend money on square baling equipment like the pickup trailer uh, or the Pottinger mower that I've been wanting forever than that that would really kind of make more sense I think uh, for us to go that route so we'll like I said we'll think about it anyway let's uh go ahead and send this dude back to the farm And you can just stage right here. And then we also need to send this dude back to the farm. Are we still hooked up? I think so. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you guys have been watching me for a while now, you know that I've really been wanting a, one of these JCB tractors, but... To be completely honest with you, it's kind of more of a want than a need at this point. Uh, whereas we need a square bale pickup trailer and we need a square bale wrapper and we need more than that, that Potter, whoops, uh, that Pottinger mower. Um, oh, I'm, I'm sitting here yapping. I didn't actually assign the job. Let's try that again. Great job. Go to. Farm and start job. 
There we go. Okay, but I mean, I'm not going to completely rule out the possibility of it though either. So, we'll just have to see. All right, now it is time for me to bale some silage. That is the next thing on the agenda. Everything is going to the same place, so it doesn't matter. We don't have to worry about getting fields mixed up. Um, so, including 71. So, this is going to be pretty easy. Pretty easy peasy job. Make sure we are on 150 centimeter bales, because this is not my baler, even though it's exactly like my baler. And let's get to it. Oh, you know what? I should check on our cultivator. Oh, look at that. He's almost done. Pretty good timing. Okay, we'll come back to you in a second. You're on your way home. Oh, look at that. They'll actually take the side road. How about that? I didn't think they'd do that. That's cool. Alright, you're still on your way home. Okay, let's take over for this guy. Whoops, he lifted it up when I stopped him. And just finish this little bit up here and we should be good. Uh, I don't see any bad spots and that's because I took the time to you know, do the borders of the field, so everything looks really nice. And he didn't tear up anybody else's field. That's the best part about all this. All right, field 32 is finished. Let's get turned in and get some, some more money from that. We want to make sure we just turn in the cultivating for now. And we're sitting on all the rest of them so we can keep using the tractors and stuff as needed. Next cultivating is field 37. All right, so that's going to be uh, 37 is right here. Okay, so let's send our guy down there. And we'll have you stage right there. Oops. Let's make sure it's thinking. You're going to be good? You're going to be good, Sophie? Okay. Those two yahoos made it back. That's fantastic. Uh, we don't really need to do anything with them at the moment that I can think of. Wait, we do need somebody on the... Yeah, we should probably put one of the larger tractors on this pickup, ta uh, pickup trailer. Auto loader trailer. So we'll, let's bring the JCB up here for this. And we'll send the little guy back to the farm and just have it stay there in, in case we need it for something else while we're still doing all this work here. Great job. Go to stage there. Okay, so now we've got a disc connect the baler from the JCB. Actually, we might as well put the baler away. Give the baler a hosing down. Uh, why don't you stage right there?
We can take care of that that one later. All right, back to Balin. All right, guys, we're done baling on uh, the north fields, and I started picking up the bales here. We just have a couple more to go, and then we'll do our first dump at the silage plant. I have the um, the New Holland and the baler already down at field 71, staged and ready to go. One more bale, and then we'll have a full load here. There we go. Okay, let's take our first load down to the biogas plant. Okay, that knocked out uh, 19 and 13, I think it was. Let's go get another load. Okay, these are the remaining bales from the north fields. And then we'll everything else will be on 71. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the contracts. So we don't need anything else from these upper fields. Um, if we turn this one in, I think we lose the little vulture, but I don't think we need it anymore anyways. So let's do that now. We're not going to turn in the harvesting one yet, though, because that's the one that gave us the JCB, which we're, I'm still using. Okay, and then these are all just kind of waiting for bales to come off of 71 to finish. So, good. All right, let's send uh, this tractor out to 71, and we need to check up on our cultivator. Looks like he's doing okay, though, but I still want to make sure he hasn't, like, cut into somebody else's field like he, like the AI will sometimes do. Uh, so let's send you out 71, and you can just kind of park right up here for now. Okay, I'll have to put that hay away later. <clears throat> We're getting ready to start baling there, and... Good. Okay, you're almost done, and you haven't cut into anybody else's field, so... Good job. Keep up the good work, pal! Okay, I think uh, I think we're ready to start bailing 71. Double check, everything is good. Turn on automatic drop. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, we are on uh, the last short little windrow here on field 71. And there are a lot of bales on this field. Look at all those bales. And a decent chunk of those are going to be our bales. Uh, but I'm not going to sell them now. I'm going to take them back to the farm and store them with the other ones so that we can wait until January or December or whatever. Last time I looked, actually, December was the best time for silage, but that seems to fluctuate somewhat. Uh, nevertheless, we are going to hang on to them until we can get the best price. Some of this stuff is right at the border, but there wasn't enough past the border to justify bringing the windrower out here. What if we try and hit that... from this angle. You 
Nope, doesn't look like it's gonna let us have it. All right, that's all right. It's not not that much hay. And uh, we have 35% left in the baler, but this is not our baler. This is the borrowed one, so unfortunately, we can't do anything about that. So we will send uh, this guy back to the farm and then jump in the JCB in the pickup trailer and start picking up. Uh, I need to check on my cultivator too. Let's get this guy sent back home first. Uh, the cultivator did derp out and cut into somebody's field. That is really irritating, man. Giants need to fix that crap. They need to fix it for sure. I can see where that could be a real problem on a multiplayer server. If you hired a worker to do some contracts and they cut into another pers real person's field, that wouldn't be fun. Okay, so... Seems to be doing okay. This is the last really big cultivating field that we got to do. So hopefully he won't cut into that cotton field over there. It's just got enough left to go yet to where I don't really want to take it over. So, okay, let's see. This is where we want to be. I got to thinking some more about that JCB tractor on sale. I don't think I'm going to buy it. Uh, it would be nice to have it really would, but... It is a nice to have and not, oh, excuse me guys, a not a need at this point in time. And actually, truth be told, I kind of want the large JCB anyways, and the one that's on sale is just the medium. So we'll see. We'll see what happens, but we're not going to, we're not going to buy that one right now. Does not uh, seem like a smart move for us. Okay, let's get these bales picked up, dropped off, and wrap up these contracts. Okay, 71 and 14 and 16 are finished. What does that leave us left? Uh, 17 and 18, uh, for bailing. And we'll probably knock those out in the next, uh, next load. I'm guessing. Okay. We want to wait. Well, actually we didn't borrow any equipment for these guys. So we can, except for 71, of course, did we? Oh, well, we did, we did borrow the Vultra, but I think I already turned that one in. And I forgot to fuel it up and, and wash it, so that's my bad, but I didn't do that deliberately. Yeah, I think we can turn this in and this in and... No, we don't want to turn that in because that's our JCB that we're borrowing. And this is... Oh, that's a new one. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll accept that too. In fact, any more new ones? couple more things popped up. Yeah, look at that. All right. Pretty much take any cultivating because I already have all the equipment and it's just free and easy money. Well, not free, but it's pretty, pretty easy stuff. Okay. So we want to sit on those two and yeah. All right, cool. Let's go get another load. All right. I just brought a partial load in hopes that we can finish the quests, uh, or the contracts, I mean. Yeah, actually, I brought way more than I needed to. Um, see, this is, we made 10000 bucks, but see, this is the worst time. I mean, literally, the worst time to be selling silos, because I just checked it. We're in July, it's at the very bottom. <laughs> so, um, darn, I should have I brought less, but I, you know, I didn't want to not bring enough either, because then we went ahead and make another trip back here. Okay, well, it is what it is. Um, we made 10,000 bucks off of it, so still not bad. But the rest of the silage in 71 is now ours. And uh, again, like I said, we are going to store that uh, at our farm and wait 
until the price is good. Um, so yeah, right now it says December is the best time to sell. Um, we'll see if that's still, you know, still says that when December rolls around. Uh, last year it was January. Are you going to stop or? Nope. Okay, here. <laughs> Jerks. Okay, so yeah, let me go get the rest of that silage and we'll drop it off at our farm and then we'll be done. Oh, we'll be d <laughs> Seriously? Um, Houston? You gotta be kidding me. All right, that never happened. Just move along, nothing to see here. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're gonna, uh, let's see, what do we have to do after this? We're, we're done with all the contracts except for the cultivating. And so, you know, that I'll just keep working on wrapping up off camera. Um, I'm thinking about redoing the shoulder along my field here too, uh, see if I can make it less serrated looking so I might mess with that a little bit but anyway um, this is what we have left so that's some of them haven't even rendered in yet but yeah that's 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 20 that's about a load and a half uh, that's all ours so, yeah, very nice. All right, I'll see you guys back at the farm once we have all this stuff unloaded. All right, guys, since we have so many round bales, I think I'm going to use this storage again. Uh, besides, it's hard, it's hard for me to get in there where the square bales are just because of the length of the trailer and the tractor to line them up. So I think what we'll start doing for those is putting them on the other side of the round bale storage and I do not expect to have enough round bales to completely fill this thing up. So, you know, since I can't get rid of it anyways, we might as well make use out of it. I do have a few round bales over by the original house too that I'll probably move over here as well. Um, but I'll do that later. So we have, I think we have like 11 bales left on the field. So let's go grab those and then we'll be done with it. Okay, this is the last of them. Very nice. Okay, so... I think... I think I might want to go over and grab those other bales. Well, no, you know what? Let's leave them there. They're not in the way... We're just going to leave them there. Because, you know, things might change and I might end up getting more round bales than I anticipate. So we'll just leave those over there. You can kind of see them way over there by the old house there. Uh, there's not a full stack, but there's quite a few. Okay, we are done with baling and harvesting contracts. Before we wash up, fuel up, and return everything... Let's just check on our cultivator and see how he's doing. He's not quite done. <laughs> he thinks he's done, but he's not. Um, so let's get him back on track here. Actually, the field's probably considered done, but this is this is too much to leave. I'm not sure if he'll flip around when he gets down to that end or not, but I guess we'll find out. Okay. All right, next order of business is to get everything washed and refueled and staged for return. So let's start with the 
the big M here. Okay, looks like he got to the other end and decided he was done again. Oh, never mind. I hate it when they do that. When you tell the worker to leave, it lifts the tool up. You just leave it the way it is, man. Okay, let's see. We're going to turn in this cultivating contract. Don't want to turn in the baling stuff and harvesting yet because we have to get all the stuff cleaned up and fueled up. So looks like... There's a bunch of little ones in the southwest. It's like 43 and 51 are the next cultivating. So let's get him over there and get him started on 43, I think. I'm going to do uh, the two edges up against the fields before I turn it over to him. I don't trust this guy. Okay, back to washing. Okay, I think we're good to turn in the contracts. Uh, we got everything fueled up and washed that needs needed it, so let's turn them in. All right, that puts us up to $119,701. Um, and also, excuse me. We have, we probably have about at least 30 grand more uh, of silage uh, if we wait and sell it in December. And then I'm basing that off of when I was selling my silage last January, I was getting about $25,000 a load. And we, you know, we brought in about a load and a third or so. So, yeah, that's pretty darn good money. Pretty darn good money. All right, let's see here. Um, we just got message that, oh, you know what? <laughs> I always tell myself, let's not turn it in until the very, very end. And then I decide to turn it in and I just left that took the tractor away from the guy working the cultivation <laughs> and left it right in the middle of the field, the cultivator. So, all right, well. No problem. I'm, I'm going to have to do all those, uh, the rest of those myself. At some point, I might invest in a second cultivator, um, you know, just so I can get two going at the same time. But that's not a super high priority right now. So let's see. I will get this straw stacked in the barn. And let's see. Today's July 2nd. We did look at the sales again, right? Yeah, that man, I would sure like to have that. This would be nice to have too, but woo, quarter of a million bucks. 692 horse though. But yeah, maybe later. We're not ready for that yet. Uh, so yeah, I'll get the straw stacked. I'll get all my stuff repaired and washed up and put away. 
and then tomorrow on and I'll finish the um, the cultivating contracts and then tomorrow it'll be July 3rd I'll get the produce loaded up and the eggs as usual uh, and then we got bring you guys back we'll go sell those and then if there isn't anything else to do in July we'll probably sleep right on into August and go from there so guys I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment to share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode bye bye